In my keynote, I spoke about exemplars that we've been running in the UK National Healthcare Service that help transform the healthcare system in the UK, but also globally, if they can be systematically rolled out. Crucially, this is the use of generative AI to handle and manage complex medical knowledge and make it usable by doctors and patients. The second thing is about how we can uh, build systems that have agency, that help doctors do stuff, that can do things on their own to help offload workload from nurses and doctors. And finally, the third most important thing is that we're bringing all the healthcare data together that we have in a nation, be that scientific, be that medical data, to provide systems that can be so smart because they're trained on so many people that they can help minorities and majorities equally well. So in our work, we're working with high stakes decision making in medicine, in hospitals and life threatening situation in intensive care. And from that, we've extracted a few lessons learned that I think can be useful in other domains of government, uh, social services, healthcare services and so forth. And that's two aspects. One is that AI systems need to be able to learn on the job, just like any trainee. You're not telling them stop learning, just do what you've learned originally in university or school. But that's exactly what we're doing currently with healthcare regulation. Once a developer has developed the AI, we are freezing its brain, we're not allowing it to learn, and only then, if it's frozen, can it be deployed to technology. That is a severe limitation for AI. And we need to overcome that, and we're having leading policy discussions on that. The second aspect is that we need to find a way of making artificial intelligence equitable to the people who contribute to the data be that the whole national healthcare system, but also clinicians, nurses, and patients. And here we need to think about how we can gain and recover intellectual property value generated by healthcare data and participate it and help contribute to the costs of healthcare of people. In a topic like healthcare, we have the new AI regulations that are being thought up, while at the same time we have also long established methods and process from healthcare technology regulation. And while the discourse about AI in healthcare technology regulation has been very active and very fruitful, I think there are broader implications of what this means about how we want to shape healthcare policies that have not been, so to speak, influenced by it sufficiently. And this requires, in my view, to bring in more technological foresight into the discussions of what is possible. I think the public policy realm is still very much driven, so to speak, in a more social science discourse mode, where we're talking about uh, things that we have heard about, but are not informed by what the things of the future are. So we need to shift from a reactive policy mode to a more proactive policy mode, because AI is evolving so fast that if we're not proactive, it's already happened yesterday.